so many memories together. I could go on for hours, but I'll spare you tonight and can share a few. N none from college. <laughs> <laughs> so, such a few times, Shelby said Lauren and I decided to go caroling in Green Patch. <laughs> and we had to be the worst carolers because we would get two verses in and just all start laughing. Um, so that was our last caroling experience. Or the time Shelby and I thought we would sneak out and meet boys at the treehouse and my dad and <laughs> Bo <laughs> left with us. <laughs> Needless to say, it was a boring summer. Um, we spent days writing letters and we had my sister and said, you are messengers <laughs> And Taylor was also really upset because she couldn't hang out with us. She <laughs> was punished too. I'll also always cherish the countless bus rides to games listening to all of our Timothy Jets. Walks to shortstop um, to get yoo and slushy before practice. Or the time Shelby tried to throw ice cream, black raspberry chip, um, in a moving car at her ex-boyfriend's house and ended up all over the inside of Jessica's car. <laughs> <laughs> Today, as I stand by your side, I couldn't be more proud of you, of the mother, daughter, and friend that you are. Lloyd, if I have any advice for you, It'd be to always bring a blanket or a hoodie because she is always cold. <laughs> and you should probably set your clock 15 minutes fast so that you <laughs> But in all seriousness, you have the most genuine, kind hearted woman as your wife. So we can all agree that this year sucks, but if there's anything good that can come out of it, it's getting to witness two of these great people spend the rest of their lives together. COVID sucks, but love is not canceled. Cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Wolf. <laughs>
I know she's right here with you, and it's just as proud on this stage with you. Boy, she would say how handsome you are. And how amazing you and Shelby are being all this mom and dad. It's funny because <laughs> in that I gathered from Andrew and Bo and Greg both, they all used the word <laughs> you reference as <laughs> and the other night while we were wedding prepping at Shelby's house, Shelby said, Lloyd said. <laughs> Remember to always catch those little nuances and hang tight to them because they'll bring you so much joy. So instead of boring you with the short stories of Shelby and I bawling our eyes out taking pictures at senior prom because we thought we'd never see each other again, thank you, Ange, for catching that in photo form. <laughs> the trip down to Kentucky with Bo for a college visit because we figured that would save us some tissues from freshman year of college. Or potentially the few times we drank all the liquor out of my mom's cabinet and filled it with water, and my mom wondered why the green apple pucker wasn't so green anymore. Then. <laughs> Instead of more of those, I'll leave you with this. Life is short, we all know that. This year has brought that to life for far too many people, but life is good. The memories will always carry us through, and love is such an important part of those memories. Love is at the core of memories we keep, and memories never fade. Will you please join me? I forgot my beer from the room that goes water. <laughs> In raising a drink as we toast, here's to making tonight a memory, a beautiful one at that with all the souls near and far. Thank you for allowing us to celebrate with you both and share one of your soon to be most cherished Ladies and gentlemen, coming up for our next speech, we have Josh, the state champ. Attest to this, we pretty much never left each other for more than maybe a day. Um, if he was working, he was at the table where my mom worked, and I pretty much came up all the time just to say hi. Um, he was at my house, I was at his. Luckily, we were never there for very long. Um, yeah. He was always about and about doing something. Um, probably you weren't supposed to, but it's all right. Um, but anyway, there's a lot of things that keep a friendship like Lloyd and I together, and I think it's, I mean, we can go months and months, and, and I mean, even a year, or whatever that is, without talking. And the second we see each other, the second we're on the phone, I mean, it's one of those friendship words like we never left. I mean, we talked each other the day before. Um, I think that kind of speaks volume to kind of the person he is and the type of friend he is to, I mean, frankly, all of us. Um, I mean, something like that's a little bit more than a friendship, and that's a brother. We thank you, brother. You said it. <laughs> all in all, I couldn't be happier that I mean, truly found someone amazing like Shelby. And actually, 
handles Lloyd and Jim. Um, a lot of other things he does. So, um, so Shelby, I mean, frankly, Shelby and I didn't really know each other at all high school either. Our dads were friends somehow. I don't even know how, but they were. Um, but, and then when he said he was with Shelby a long time ago, um, I mean, honestly, I was just happy that he found somebody that he was truly passionate about. You could just tell it when he spoke. You could just tell that he was kind of that head over heels type thing, like, all right, I found something here. Um, but I mean, in the end, I, I couldn't be happier for both of you guys. Um, I can't wait for you know, our family to grow because, frankly, that's what you guys are. You're in the family. So, you're in the toast. Lloyd Shelby. Ladies and gentlemen, our last speaker for the night will be Mr. Kevin. The truth. Yeah. <laughs> 